Hi, Justin Thompson here at Smell Honda in Greensburg, PA. Here to take you on a ride along on the 2019 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. Let's check this thing out. All right, guys, we got the 2019 Ridgeline Black Edition here. And just showing you the front grill here. You got the nice black grill, the Black Edition badging in the front. You do have the LED headlamps with the auto high beams. You're gonna have your fog lamps as well. That Honda symbol on front, that's the actual uh, radar for the uh, Honda sensing package. So that's gonna actually work for your uh, brake mitigation and your adaptive cruise control to set how far away a vehicle's gonna stop in front of you. And then of course, up in the windshield, you're gonna see that uh, triangular uh, camera right there. And that's for your lane watch and also your adaptive cruise control. You can see you have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels, the black wheels. You got the nice all season tires. The black edition is gonna be the top model for the Ridge line in 2019. You do have the uh, backup uh, sensors as well. Great thing about the tailgate, two different ways you can take it down. One is just your traditional way. Secondly, right underneath the A or a little bit left of the A, you can actually pull that open and swing the gate open this way. Underneath here, you do have a nice tub. There is a drain in the bottom, so you can actually put some sodas or ice if you're going to do some tailgating. Uh, just a great vehicle to do, uh, to do that stuff with. You can put your uh, food and keep it cold underneath here as well. Now with the Black Edition and pretty much all the uh, Honda Ridgelines, you're going to have a smart pass keyless entry system. So as long as I have the key fob on me, which I have in my pocket, I'm going to be able to pop this open. There's an actual uh, rubber button right here. And anytime I walk away from the vehicle, it's going to lock automatically so that you're going to be able to keep stuff safe down here. Uh, you do have speakers, the rear audio system. Yeah. So that pr uh, premium audio system is going to give you the speakers in the back so you can do some tailgating. You'll see uh, on the interior, I'll show you on the touchscreen how you can access the speakers for the uh, rear tailgate. Just a great vehicle to, to take for the football games and maybe some concerts. With the 2018 Ridgeline, you have the 3.5 liter V6. That's 280 horsepower. And you also have the uh, variable cylinder management with the vehicle as well, with the engine. It's actually gonna shut off some cylinders at times to save on gas. So you're gonna have a very fuel efficient vehicle for, uh, for your small truck size. I can mine 20 mi 21 miles per gallon between city and highway driving. What's really great about the back seat of the Ridgeline here, you're gonna be able to put these seats up. So all you do, there's a handle on the very side. You just pull that handle, lift up, and actually put the seat all the way up. It'll actually lock. That second seat will do the same thing. So you can actually put stuff on the ground here. You know, if you have a pet, you can put the pets down on here so they're not ruining the leather. If you have tools, whatnot, it's just very versatile. You can just put your stuff in the back here, and then whenever you're ready, you can take this, pull that down, and just slap the seat right back down. One other thing I wanted to mention was the radar for the reg line. So you're actually gonna have that with the Honda symbol. And what it's gonna do is calculate distance and speed for your forward collision brake mitigation system and also the adaptive cruise control. So what happens is under 20, 15 miles an hour, you come upon a vehicle that's going, uh, or a stationary at a traffic light and you're just not paying attention, the vehicle will actually brake automatically. It'll indicate on the dash, it'll say brake and beep inside of the cabin. And if you don't apply the brakes, it'll apply them automatically for you. All right, some of the external features with the truck. You do have a standard remote start from the factory. So it's right here on the key fob. All you're gonna do is hit the lock button two times and hold the circular button down for about three to four seconds. You hit the lock button two times, hold the circular button down for about three to four seconds until you see the lights blink, then you can release it. It'll blink six more times so that you can see that a remote started from inside the house. It'll run for 10 minutes. You can actually uh, do the same pattern immediately after remote starting it to set it to 20 minutes, but it will run for that length of time and shut off. If you're really low on gas, it will not remote start. It may do it for a few uh, seconds and then shut off. It's so that it doesn't run you out of gas. So all the Honda remote starts are gonna operate the same way. If you wish to turn it off, you just hold the circular button down for a few more seconds till you see the lights blink, it'll shut it off. Now, this being the Smart Pass keyless entry system, as long as you have the key fob on you or in your purse or in your pocket, you simply walk up to the vehicle, go put your hand through the handle, it's gonna unlock this door. Everything else will stay locked unless you program it differently inside of the uh, vehicle. 
And when you're done with your drive, you simply shut the door, tap that black button and walk away from the vehicle and it's locked up. If you wish to maybe put the windows down without remote starting the vehicle, you can hit the unlock button twice, once and then the second time and hold it down and it will put all the windows down, including opening the sunroof. If you have your window down in some other vehicles, you have to get back into the vehicle, hit the access button twice and put the window up. But if you ever walk away from a ridge line and you have your window cracked or all the way down, you don't have to get in. You can simply just pull this tab aside on the back of the key fob and simultaneously take the key out, put it in the lock here, once to the left and one more time and hold it. And it will put all the windows up, including the sunroof, and it will close completely. Okay, well, let's take us on the road. Okay, well, with the 2019 Honda Ridgeline, I'm going to go over uh, some of the options. Again, this is the top model, so it's going to have everything in it. You're going to have power windows, power locks. They're auto windows down and up for the driver and the passenger. You are going to have position one and two setting for the uh, driver's seat. Um, you do have Honda Sensing, which is going to give you blind spot monitoring on both sides. And it will actually indicate on this little square here on the right hand side as well anytime you have somebody in your blind spot that's going to blink if you have your turn signal on and somebody's in your blind spot that'll blink but you'll also hear a beep inside of the cabin so on the dash here on the left hand side you're going to have the ability to turn off and on a few different things one being the parking sensors uh, those are on right now so when you see the green light you know that's good uh, you do have the uh, road departure uh, that's what's going to keep the uh, vehicle centered in the lane when driving on the road. That light is also green. We want to see that on. And then there's a couple other lights, or excuse me, buttons over here. One being your forward collision warning. Uh, that's an actual off button. So that's a nice safety feature that you always want to have on. And that's one of the features in the Honda Sensing package that doesn't get turned off as often as maybe uh, road departure or uh, lane keep assist, which I'm going to go over in a second. So that uh, frontal collision warning, uh, brake mitigation, there is a button to turn it off. And you would have to hold this down for a few seconds to disengage it. Uh, you do have the cargo lights for the back tailgate. Um, and you also have a 115 volt uh, plug-in in the back. And to access it, you would hit the button up here so that you can use that. Also with Honda Sensing, you're going to have uh, the ability to put on adaptive cruise control and also lane keep assist system. You hit this main button right here on the right hand side of the steering wheel and you're going to bring up two acronyms on the dash acc adaptive cruise control and lkas which is lane keep assist system and with the adaptive cruise control let's say you're driving on the highway at 65 miles an hour you have it set you come upon a vehicle that's going slower than you it's going to slow down automatically when that vehicle uh, gets back up to speed it'll bring you up to speed automatically or if you get in the fast lane it'll bring you back up to speed, whatever you had set for adaptive cruise. And that's what it is. You do have the ability to turn on your regular old school cruise control. Also with the lane keep assist system, you just hit this button right here that has the steering wheel with the two dotted lines. Right now the camera is pointing out in front of the ridge line, ready to map out the lines on the road. When we get over 45 miles an hour, these dotted lines will turn solid white. That's how we know if we start to drift, it'll actually vibrate the wheel and pull us slightly back into the lane. So with the road departure and lane keep assist system, they kind of work hand in hand. So when you're on the back roads, not going so fast, uh, that's really where road departure comes into play. And you'll feel the steering kind of stiffen up whenever you're going through turns. That's just the vehicle keeping you on your intended path, keeping you uh, in the center of the lane. You do have automatic lights, so you can keep it on auto all the time with the uh, fog lamps as well. It has automatic high beams too, so at night on the uh, dark roads it's going to turn on the lights automatically and then turn them off, the high beams. Uh, you do have your Bluetooth connection on your steering wheel as well. Uh, the Bluetooth connection, you have a smartphone connection, so if anybody out there that has the uh, Apple uh, iPhone or an Android, you're going to be able to use Apple CarPlay and you have the Android Auto integration. Um, you do have a heated steering wheel with the black edition. And then uh, you have some other buttons here that help navigate through the uh, touch screen so you can keep your hands on the wheel. With the ridge line, you have the intelligent uh, traction management system. And I just hit this button below the shifter and it's gonna bring up options, four of them, normal, snow, mud, and sand. So normal mode right now, we do have the all wheel drive. So it's mainly front wheel drive. As soon as your wheels start to slip, it'll automatically engage in all wheel drive for you. 
However, if you come upon any inclement situation, rain, snow, if you want, you can change on the fly from normal to snow. This will change up the gearing a little bit, give you better traction. Uh, you also have the sand and mud setting. Whenever you have those, that's usually whenever you're really stuck in the snow or the mud or the sand and you want to get going, uh, it will actually disengage stability control. And stability control, to explain that, what it does is it will actually break certain wheels to keep you on your intended path if you're out on the road at a higher, higher rate of speed. And it will turn that off so that your wheels will spin freely to give you your best traction out of uh, the sticky situation that you're in. So if I put it on mud or sand, you'll see that it will automatically disengage the stability control. We'll go ahead and keep it on normal. You have the dual zone climate control as well. Uh, so I can have my temperature how I want on the driver's side. The passenger can have their temperature set however they want. There is a sync button. So when I get in and I'm by myself, I can hit the sync button and just match whatever temperature I have on this side. Uh, you also have automatic climate control. So you can set it to whatever temperature you want hit auto and it will maintain that temperature inside the cabin. A couple other things, you have the uh, automatic dimming mirror. You have the home link system for the garage door openers. So at home, you're gonna be able to sync that up. And of course you have the power sunroof, one touch all the way back, one touch all the way forward. And I forgot to tell you, you do have the back window that's uh, power as well. And you have the ability to open and close it right here. Heated seats up front, by the way, you have high and low position for the driver and the passenger. With the black edition, you'll see you have the leather trim seats here with the uh, perforated red accents in the middle. So that's specific to the black edition. So uh, it's just uh, uh, unmistakable. Okay, great. Let's get this thing on the road. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to get this vehicle up to speed so you can check out the power. 180 horsepower, the 3.5 E6. I'll tell you what, that pickup in the truck, you guys will love this. That 280 horsepower gets you right up to speed. So when you're getting out onto the highway, the on-ramps, no problem at all. Now, right now I have my lane keep assist system ready to operate. So again, how I know that on the dash here, those dotted lines are actually solid white right now. So if I start to drift, it'll help me out and it will actually vibrate the wheel and pull me back into the lane, either from the left or the right. You do have the ability to change the sensitivity levels on all the Honda sensing packages. So you can pretty much customize it the way that you want it to operate. So I'll just demonstrate this. And there we go. Lane departure comes on, it vibrates the wheel and pulls me back in. Adaptive cruise control. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm going to hit set. And right now this uh, car icon actually came up. When the car icon is shaded in, that's how you know that the vehicle is going to brake and accelerate automatically for you. If you don't see that car symbol and you see a dotted outline of a car, that's an indication that the system has not mapped out a car in front of you and do not uh, trust the system to brake or accelerate automatically until you see that icon. So it would basically just drive like regular cruise control until that comes on there. But right now what's happening is I'm keeping a safe distance from the vehicle in front of me. I can change the sensitivity level by tapping this button on the outside. It has a car with a couple lines underneath it. And if I bring the vehicle closer, I can just, you'll see the uh, car icon get bigger, keeping less distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. Uh, one thing I wanna mention about the adaptive cruise control, unlike some of the other models, and you've seen me uh, do the videos with the slow follow mode with the uh, Hondas uh, for the CRV, the Accord, this does not have slow follow, so it will shut off under 25 miles an hour. I'll tell you, driving this truck is very, very comfortable, and it almost doesn't feel like you're in a truck. That's the best part about it. So you have the ACE body structure with the Honda Ridgeline uh, instead of a ladder type frame. So bigger trucks, more heavy duty trucks are gonna have that ladder type frame. They're gonna have that rough, rugged kind of feel whenever you're driving. That is not the case in the Honda Ridgeline. It's a very, very smooth ride. So with the black edition, again, this is a top model. So depending on what trim level you're looking at, you're going to uh, have certain features. This one's gonna have them all. So you do have the navigation system, which is a Garmin-based navigation system. So for those of you that are familiar with Garmin, and I'll just show you here, you hit the navigation button and you have your Garmin-based Navi. The hamburger stack is gonna give you the ability to uh, just um, you know pick whatever you want, go through settings, 
Also with some of the technology, again, I was talking about the smartphone connection. You have the uh, phone icon here on the USB port. So when you plug that in and you're using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, this is really neat. Your navigation system eventually down the road, you're gonna have to uh, spend a lot of money to upgrade the system. Uh, that's something that you won't have to do anymore. You can actually use your smartphone connection and use your Google Maps as your navigation. It will actually show up on the touchscreen. And in my opinion, probably uh, even better than the all manufacturers navigation systems out there only because uh, you don't have to update it every time your phone is updated you update the navigation system automatically so just a little food for thought for later on down the road what's nice about the smartphone integration as well you can use OK Google or Siri on your voice command button here on the steering wheel to access anybody in your contacts list and even text message hands-free now Honda has their own text messaging capability however the responses are um, somewhat generic like I'm out on the road I'll call you later yes no maybe um, this is a way to be as personable as possible and say as much as you want to say there's no character limitation so right now my blind spot monitor is on so I have somebody in my blind spot you're gonna see this orange icon here and I'm not gonna pull into this lane but if I put my turn signal on and there's that beep that you hear so that beep is just indicating that somebody is in your blind spot so again, it's just your uh, second warning outside of the blinking to let you know not to merge into that lane. So that's good for the left hand and the right hand side. So right now on these back roads, you're going to experience with the ridge line just a nice smooth ride. The great thing about the ridge line sitting in here, I just know how this vehicle looks. You know, the sporty look on the outside, uh, the sporty look on the inside. Uh, I had somebody once tell me, you know, uh, buy a vehicle for how it looks on the inside because you're in the inside all the time you know and uh, that does make sense uh, you want to buy a vehicle for the exterior looks as well and the ridgeline has them both so with the ridgeline you're going to have your basic three-year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty which is going to take care of all the internal features which is great you have the touch screen the power uh, seat the sunroof the motor in that so you have a lot of electronics uh, you're going to have a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty which is going to uh, cover your engine, your drivetrain, your transmission, and your all-wheel drive system. So all the major driving components of the vehicle. So why would you want to buy from Smale? Well, there's many reasons. A few to mention, we are a family-run facility for over 75 years. Um, so you got a friendly environment, uh, nice staff to deal with, uh, great inventory. So you're going to be able to come in and actually uh, pick out a vehicle that you want and you want to own. Um, but there's no pressure at all. You come in, you take a look at what you want to buy. Uh, for those of uh, shoppers out there that are not quite ready to purchase, that's okay. You can take your time, come in here, and a sales executive, ask for me, I'll help you out. Uh, we can take our time figuring out what would be the best vehicle for you on the lot, and uh, that's a great reason to do business with uh, Smell Honda. All right, guys, with the backup camera, we're gonna have three camera angle views. So for those of you who've seen my other videos, you're gonna notice that this is very familiar. So you have a wide angle view, so you can see traffic coming from either side. This uh, button over here on the right hand side, which has the uh, green light on, that's your cross monitor uh, sensor. So if you have anybody coming from either side, it's gonna indicate where they're coming from and actually bring up uh, um, some um, arrows on either side of the screen. It'll also beep inside of the cabin too. Now your dynamic guidelines do change color to give you a projected angle into a sp uh, parking spot. So what I like to do, I like to do the wide angle view, kind of get my uh, uh, grid into the parking spot here. And then you have more of a straight on view. So you can actually uh, line up the lines on the ground with the grid. And then lastly, you have a straight down view. You can back right up against the curb without hitting it. Or if you're in those tight parking areas and you want to back right up against the car without hitting it as well, uh, that's perfect. And then lastly, this is the best part, if you're towing, this is a very, very good way to uh, uh, match up the hitch almost perfectly every time. And now we're at the park. I can simply put my tailgate down, maybe get my drinks and food out. Again, you have that eight speaker premium audio system. On the touch screen, you just hit uh, the rear tailgate. It's gonna switch the audio to the tailgate so that you can enjoy the music outside. And that's the ride along on the 2019 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. 
I hope you enjoyed the vehicle as much as I did. If you have any questions and would like to take it for a test drive, please visit us here in Route 30 in Greensburg, and please ask for me, Justin Thompson, or you can visit us online at smellhonda.com. Thanks for watching.